Learning the church, playing the music, passing the life, acting like it was okay, but it wasn't. Until God corrected me, I didn't pay no attention to it. Because I was in the state of where I didn't want to be a full Christian. I just wanted to be, be the one that comes in and plays the music. I didn't really understand what I had for me. I had so many people coming up to me telling me I was called to preach. But, but I was not going to get up and say something if I knew I wasn't ready. Because God, God would call me if, when I was ready. And one night, up in my bedroom, it was me, my brother Chris, and my brother Vels up there. And we just started talking about God. And this right here is where God can take you if you just, if you just let Him work. Just talking about God, talking about all the things He's done for us. And the next thing I know, I'm sitting in the floor kneeling at my bed, covering myself, had cover all the way over me, just crying. I, th I think it was 2 o'clock we started talking. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. And we started talking about God, and I didn't get to bed till about 6. And the whole time, I was just crying and praying. And it was because I quit, I let my guard down, and I quit acting like some Christians, and I acted like a Christian. And I let God deal with me. We ain't gonna get God, like I said, we ain't gonna, we ain't, God ain't gonna move unless we move. When we get somebody that's wanting to be full time, Holy Ghost filled Jesus' name, then that's when, that's when you see revival start breaking out. That's when you see the churches on fire. People said, what denomination are you? I had somebody the other day ask me, was I Pentecostal? I told them no. They said, what? I said, I'm Jesus' name. They said, what's that? I said, that's where I believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost was born. And the only way that you're going to get to heaven is by Jesus. And they said, they said, so, so you don't, you don't, you don't call yourself other than, I said, no. I said, I'm Jesus' name. I said, I don't judge anybody else by what they're called, whether you're Methodist, whether you're Church of God, Church of Christ, Baptist, Southern Baptist. I don't care what you are. If you want to serve God like I do, if you, if you want to serve God to the fullest, do exactly what His Word says. You're, you're in the same place as me. That's a lot of I used to think, I used to think that, I used to think that, that I wouldn't go to a Baptist church or anything like that because they didn't believe like me. But then I started watching. I heard some Baptist preachers put some of the preachers I've heard to shame. I heard some of the Methodist preachers come across stuff that I didn't even heard of. And it's because they got into the thing. They got into what God wanted them to do. And they let God take a hold of them. A lot of people say just because they are the different denominations that, that, that they don't believe the same or they believe the same. As a matter of fact, I see more, more people that ain't Pentecostal or whatever they are. I see Methodists act more godly than the Pentecostal people. I see Baptists act more Pentecostal or more, uh, more uh, god, godly than the Pentecostal. It's because we got to the got to the place where we think we're the only ones that's making it, but we're not. And St. Peter sat at the door, he grabbed his hand and he said, let me show you. And he walked and as he was walking, he looked to the right and seen the Baptist. Looked to the left and seen the Methodist. Looked to the, looked to the right and seen the Church of God. And then he looked over there, he said, seen a Pentecostal sign. He said, he said, who's them? St. Peter looked at him and said, shh, they think they're the only ones here. That's how we got today. We think we're the only ones It's about time we get real, church. It's about time we start acting like the Christians we say we are. It's about time we quit trying to steal somebody else's blessings by lying. It's about time we quit mocking God by lying and calling, calling ourselves something we ain't. Because our time is just about over. You read through the Bible, and if, if you can see something that ain't come to pass that God said will, I, I, want, I want to find out where it is because everything God said is coming to pass. Everything, everything He said, it, it's, if, I mean, it's just right there. People said, I don't know how this world is going to end. I do. Because the Bible tells me. I don't know the day that God's coming, and I don't know the hour that He is. 
He's going to come in a moment, in a second, and in the twinkling of an eye. I will not know the day, but I know it's coming. And I know it's soon because the Bible tells me so. It's about time we started getting up and being the Christians we say we are. Because there's sinners out there today that needs help. And we're not going to give it to them by sitting down, doing nothing. We're just robbing ourselves of our own blessings. When we don't get up and do what God tells us to do, we're mocking God. It's about time we quit. It's about time we started acting like the Christians we say we are. And started getting into this thing to the fullest. We need to quit playing, church. I thank God for, for, for correcting me in my wrongs. Because God, God's got a lot of work out here today. A lot of lost out here today that needs help. But we're not going to give them no help sitting down and walking out the door acting like something different. We need to really, really get down and, and listen to what God has to tell us. We need to quit playing, church. Every church out here today has got somebody in there trying to run somebody else down. And the day that the, that the, the day the day that we get get down and let let God know that we're we're ready to to let Him move it all, that's the day that it stops. Because God's going to separate the ones that are, are of Him and the ones that ain't. And He's doing some separation now. And I want to make sure I'm on the right side of that separation. I want to make sure I'm the right side of God. I want to make sure I'm in that I'm in that man's book of life. I want to make sure that God's got something for me. I believe there's some people in here today that need some help. But we ain't going to give it to them sitting down, people. We're not going to give it to them acting like something we're not. The only way a person gets a miracle or gets saved that's power when, when we really let God move and we become what we say we are and get the real names. Too many names been going around. When are you going to let the real name get a hold of it? That name's the name of Jesus. And when they get a hold of us, that's when, that's when true work starts happening. That's when true work starts taking hold. That's when we see miracles come in. That's when we see the lost being saved. That's when we see see the drug addicts yes. and all these people that's got these addictions bounded on them. Yes. That's how we get them off of them. Yes. They thought they bounded Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, which is what they call them. But they was just throwing them into a fire that was burning that world off of them. Yes. What they bound them by, the names and them ropes. They was just being burnt off so God can deal with them even stronger. Yes. That's what we got to do today. The world's trying to put us in a fire. They think it's burning hot, but I tell you what, we can shout in this fire. Because the fire that they think they call us in is not the fire that they, that they know. This world does not know the Holy Ghost fire. Because they never got a hold of it. It's when we get the, it's when we get moving in God. That's when we see the churches on fire. Well, go cold. But I think, I think we're going to start getting hot again. I think we're going to start moving. I think we're going to start making some changes. And it starts at the house of God. It starts in His church. This, this building is a church house. But we're the church. When are you going to change the church? This church needs to do a lot of changing. The churches need to do a lot of changing. And I think it's right now when we make the change. Right now is where we let God take a hold. I want to get the instrument players back up here. I'm going to have an altar call. Because I believe tonight there's some people that's that's needing that change. Yes. I believe there's some lost in here tonight that wants to get in that change. But there's no way we're getting in that change acting like something when we're not. You're going to be the Christian you say you are? Are you just going to be half a Christian? Coming in one day good and coming out the next? One day religion don't do this thing, church. We've got to get in this thing of fullest. 